Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let me speak to you a bit about the spine. Now, as you can see, our spine has got 33 bones and between each bone, you've got a disc. Can you see the disc over here, which is looking shining white? Now, our spine is a structure which keeps our body erect, but at the same time, it protects a very important nerve which runs inside the spine and this gives small nerves coming out at each level which goes in the upper part in the neck to our arm then to our chest abdomen and in the lower part which is called as lumbar spine they go down our legs now that is why whenever there's a compression of the nerve you have backache which goes down the leg or if you've got a neck pain it can travel down your arms now the most common cause of the backache or of the cervical pain is the slip disc now, what exactly we mean by the slip disc? Slip disc means that this disc, if you can imagine that when the person will bend in front, this disc will be compressed in front and it can bulge back. And what actually happens is that it can even the wall, the posterior wall, the back wall of the disc can even rupture and the material can come out. And just behind the disc is the main spinal canal, which harbors the most important nerve, spinal cord. So if it pops out, it compresses this nerve, which will cause the backache and the pain going down the leg. And if the compression is severe, you can even have some weakness in the leg. Or, you know, if it's a central disc and a huge compression and sudden compression, you can even lose control over your bowel and bladder, means your urination and your stool uh, control can even go. So uh, now the other cause of the backache, you know, the most important cause of the backache actually is a minor sprain or strains or rupture of the muscle and all that. So 90% of the backache becomes fine just by taking rest or uh, with a medicine or physiotherapy and all those things. But if your backache is not improving uh, with the analgesics taken after two weeks time, then you should try uh, to meet a spine specialist because then you may be having something uh, which is slightly a matter of concern. And the most common cause, as I just said, of the backache is the slip disc. Otherwise, uh, this can be caused by anything like it can be a fracture, it can be osteoporosis in old age, which is the weakness in the bone. It can be because of a tumor. It can be because of uh, the infection like the tuberculosis or even arthritis. You know, in the younger age group, you can have a disease called ankylosing spondylitis, which is found in the young males mostly between 20 to 30 years of age. And this starts from this sacroiliac joint. This last bone is called a sacrum and there's the ileum and the hips would be here. So this starts from the joint. So they start having very severe morning stiffness and the pain starts from sacroiliac joint and it goes up to the spine. And you must have seen this disease is also called as bamboo spine. The spine becomes as stiff as bamboo and the patient just becomes like this and he walks like that. So uh, what I wanna say is that if your backache is chronic and it's not improving with the medicine and physiotherapy for two weeks, you must come to a spine surgeon because you may be harboring something uh, which may be slightly, I will not call it serious, but which may require some further investigation and just to rule out that there is nothing uh, wrong about it. And uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite you in Jaipur Golden Hospital, Rohini, Delhi. I am the head of uh, spine unit over here. And along with me, uh, at the moment he's not here, but we've got a team of Dr. Raman Jain and me and uh, we've got special training internationally and in dealing with all type of cases uh, right from the disc to the deformity even if you've got a deformity scoliosis or kyphosis we have got very specialized center over here to take care of them thank you very much